Hi, my name is David Gugerman. Welcome to Handpan Tips and Tricks. Today we will look into how to develop your weak hand, which is usually the left hand. Dealing with this is one of the most common issues as a newer player. Not only is the secondary hand much weaker than the leading hand, it's also harder to control and it can be quite a challenge to convince it to play nice. Today I will show you two exercises that can help you fix that. Before we start, it's good to know that most likely these exercises will feel absolutely horrible. When dealing with independence and training the weaker hand, often the exercises that feel extremely awkward will be very effective. So that's why we put ourselves through this kind of misery. Let's get started. Exercise number one. Practice the different strokes on the instrument with the left hand by itself. Let's start with the central note. After you have achieved a good level of control and sound, you can play a rhythmical sequence. Let's play four dooms and four tucks, followed by a melody line upwards, and then the second time we play a melody line downwards. Exercise 2. Pick a groove that can be played with one hand. I will choose the Middle Eastern Rhythm Ballady. Usually, of course, we would play it with our right hand, but today is the left hand turn. If you're not sure about the movements or the sounds that you achieve with your left hand, often you can learn from the right. Watch it closely and try to imitate its movement with the left. Exercise number three. So far, we have practiced the left hand by itself. Now it's time to throw it into the mix with the right. But today we will do it in an unusual way. Usually the right hand leads and the left hand follows. It's time to switch these roles around. Like in any close relationship, the involved parties should have some flexibility. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's check out some grooves and switch the hand patterns around. So we lead with our non-dominant hand. I will give you two examples, which you might already know from last week's video. The first one is the Khaliji. Today we play all the accents with one hand and the ghost notes with the other. Why do we practice different hand patterns at all? Because it will give you a lot of flexibility for your playing. Usually I would play the accents with the right and the ghost notes with the left, like this. Now let's switch it around. I'll demonstrate it first slowly. Feeling a little awkward yet? I'd recommend to pause the video for a while and practice this until you're comfortable. I promise you it's gonna get better. The next example is even trickier. It's a backbeat style groove where the accents switch between both hands. I'll first play the original leading with the right hand. Now let's switch the hand pattern. Start to go through the pattern really slowly, stroke by stroke. You can always use the speed function of the video player to slow the video down.
Okay, now my challenge to you is to apply the same concept to other grooves and patterns. You could use, for example, the halftime khaliji or the two-step from last week, or you could pick any pattern that you're familiar with. The more you go through this process, the stronger and more confident your non-dominant hand will become. This will be very beneficial for when you play normally, leading with your dominant hand. Patterns will just become more clear and even sounding. Let's finish the session with a little piece of music based on this last backbeat pattern. The melodies I use are only examples. You probably have a different scale and have to find your own melodies anyway. The important point is that each of the melody phrases has the hand pattern left, right, left, right. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know these exercises don't seem like a lot of fun at first, but they're really super effective. And if you stick with them, I think you will be surprised by the results. Let me know in the comments which grooves you can play leading with the left hand and how the process is going for you. Of course, I'm happy if you subscribe to my channel and give me a little thumbs up as well. Have a good practice and see you next week.